so um like how are you really <laughs> not the not, yeah. the not the regular daily how are you like how are you i can't remember the last time i said i'm fine i just say i'm okay okay i mean it has been three years yeah since about. about three years since you know we last heard from you musically as an artist right how has that been for you is is this is that much is that a lot um <laughs> I don't even know where to start from. When you ask the question, like different things just came rushing through my head. I imagine. It's been a lot. Okay. You know, and the sum total of it is that I have had to learn, unlearn, you know, unpack, unpack. And um, I lost my mom, I lost my dad. I lost a very close friend of mine. Obviously, everything started the year that I also left EME, which was the record label that I was signed to at the yeah. time. And the year that I left EME in March, I left EME in March, um, I didn't even get a chance to announce it. Mm -hmm. I went to New York, and then my friend Karabo died. Um, yeah. She lives in South Africa. Every, I think everyone heard about it. Yeah. She was killed by her boyfriend, you know, and so that took a toll on me and I came back to Nigeria my mom was ill so I had to you know focus on that um, that was in I think April yeah you know eventually my mom passed in August oh after two surgeries so between I think May no between June and August it was my mom my mom so I would leave the hospital in Ikeja yeah. and come back to Lekki to work with MI and um, CK at the time. Yeah. And um, I think the shift started from there. Okay. The shift started from there. I started to realize that I cared a lot less about, you know, for instance, how I looked or mm. how I was portrayed as an artist because there was a time in my life where I couldn't leave my house to go to the store without, not necessarily being glammed up or anything, but just I would think, oh, I don't want people to see me looking like this. I but in that moment, I wore out my fro because I didn't even have the time of day. I was always going to the hospital. Yeah. And people would be like, oh, your hair is so nice. Your hair is so nice. You have such nice hair. I was like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And so without realizing it, I started to unpack a lot of things. And eventually, when my mom passed, it was like something fell off my eyes. Yeah. And it was the... It's the most painful thing I've ever experienced, but I felt free. I felt very free and um, I really felt like for the first time in my life that it, I, I felt like I had a new lease of life. And so. That is, that's a lot. Um, I, I, can't, I can't pretend to understand exactly, yeah. you know, what that feels like, but you know, I'm glad I'm just like, going through this journey with you, how it started, you know, all of the things that you, you know, unpacked on your, on your way to the end, to the free part. And it's honestly really the most beautiful thing. Thank you. That, that's the first time that you've taken a break from music since right. you started. Yeah, more or less. Well, I did take a break some time because um, I was harassed by my record label owner which I spoke about for the first time on some interview recently. Yeah. He harassed me and um, incidentally, my contract had expired. And so when I left, I was just like, yeah, I am not about this life. It's crazy. It is crazy. It's, oh my goodness. And you know, you, you've been keeping. I've been The keeping. entire time. <laughs> like, so this new, this new sound you're coming out with it's it's refreshing i heard it thank you and i've seen it it's beautiful it's thank pure you. thank you but it also comes from a place of like so many so much emotions you know so first of all when i was on e when i was on my last record label on yeah. um, eme i believe that i made good music i made beautiful music but i didn't realize that something was fundamentally missing i knew that something was wrong but i couldn't really place it and figure it out it yeah. was almost like i was swimming against the tide 
and every time I tried to express it, it was like there was a person mm. that I was supposed to be. I mean, you're female, you're good looking, you can sing, everybody expects you to be a certain way. Yeah. And, you know, I'm not saying that it's wrong to. I'm everything, I'm every woman, I'm sexy, I'm not afraid to admit that I'm sexy, I'm good looking and I want to show that I'm sensual, but there are many sides to me that I also want to show. Everything was already set up against you if you weren't a certain way. And being signed to the label that I was signed to, naturally it's a business, that was the natural thing for me to showcase. So it got to a stage I wasn't really happy doing what I was doing and it was important for me to, I, I met with a friend of mine. She wasn't even my friend at the time. I met her at some record label in New York. Yeah. And she listened to my music. She said, your music is amazing. She said, but the person that you are, that I speak to, and your music is night and day. I can't connect it. Oh, wow. And it felt like somebody took a knife and stabbed <laughs> me in the chest. I felt so... It wasn't offensive, but yeah. I just felt like... It felt like, wait, what? How did I never connect that? And that's when I started to dig within myself. Mm. Um, so what is, like, this song, what does this song mean to you? And what, what should it mean to me when I listen to it or to oh someone God. else out there when they listen to okay, it? Okay, so this story is long. I hope I don't end up crying before <laughs> this is over. But you can. <laughs> because I already feel, like, tears welling up in my worry. eyes. So my mom passed. You know, yeah. I, went, I, uh, I went back to the States. So the first song that I did a year after was a song about my mom and then that's when I now started to try to work on another project and it was coming together well it was coming together fine I finally decided that I was going to let the album come out this year okay and then last year August my father passed and for me it was like okay what now? You know, like, how do I even, how do I even move on? Like, you know, it's one thing for you to lose your mom and then when yeah. you lose your mom and that in the space of two years, yeah. literally days before your mom's anniversary, second year anniversary, yeah. it was just a big blow for me. And I'm the last one of my family. Yeah. I'm very close, to, I was very close to my dad. Um, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't. And for me, it was important for me to put out music that expressed where I was. Yeah. Because people will, I always say this, I almost feel like I'm sounding like a broken record now. People will forget if they hear something. If they see, they'll forget. But if it connects to something that they feel, they'll never forget. And so for me, it was like I have to make music from a place of truth. Yes. I have to let people, I wanted people to just see me. I needed to now, I now had started to learn how to be vulnerable because I realized that in this part of the world in Nigeria, as women, black, you almost, you don't know when you become aggressive, you don't know when you become too tough because it's like, you're just fighting, you know, so from many battles, every angle. Yeah. And by the time you realize that, ah, calm down, <laughs> you know, like, calm down, it's not that deep. <laughs> Like, calm down, yeah. you know, you know, I'll be looking at yourself like, wow, I didn't even know that I was carrying so much mm -hmm. until like, I, I had to go through certain experiences. So when my dad passed, I came um, to bury my dad. So I did another, I did the project. I was supposed to release yeah. uh, a video in April this yeah. year. So I'd come for my dad's final burial and COVID hit yeah. and I got stuck in Nigeria. Oh dear. <laughs> I was frustrated at first. I was like, oh my God, locked down, nobody mm -hmm. can move, nobody can do anything. And then that's where this song came from. So I want you to, what I want you to feel to answer your question when mm -hmm. you listen to that song, it's just hope. It's to know that you're not alone in whatever you're dealing with and that there's somebody there's plenty of us that feel confused. It's okay for you to not know, mm. um, to not see how you're gonna get where you're going. Yeah. But just know that you shall get there. Somehow. It's okay for you to take a break and mm -hmm. breathe and be like, God help me. Or just, you know, just take a break, just slow down. That's just what I want you to feel when you hear the song. 
I love like the most for the most part where you are allowed to feel so many things. You're allowed to feel confused, mm -hmm. lost, you know, knowing that all of these emotions will not define you. Like exactly. you say at the end of the day you're still going to get there but right. you know let me feel this one out let me feel confused for a moment exactly um honestly i think that it has been a beautiful journey i'm sort of excited to see where this is leading up to and it's even more exciting that you've chosen to like take your story mm -hmm. head on it's yeah. like if it doesn't feel right you're not releasing it yeah. i think that's like the purest thing that i would expect from you know an artist so i think that at me at this point like you would say that i'm just, i've been running away from pronouncing the name of the song Olumorotsi. but i think i'm just going to let you say it <laughs> yeah, say it's Olum Olumorotsi. yes okay i know i'm here for reason you want me easy but i know i got you 